Tracking the blood, Daniel just found the bull. It's about a 75 yard shot or so. You got eyes on? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he moving at all? Did you find the blood? Nope. I just started following where I saw him. I thought he kind of came to this side of the slag pile. Where's the slag pile from here? This, right here. This is where I saw him kind of come across. Okay. The other pile is up there, I think. I got you. Uh, you ready to walk up to him? Let's do it. Congratulations, brother. And that other dumb bull, we've been talking so much and he won't shut up. He keeps screaming at us. He's gorgeous. Look at him. He didn't go far at all. <sighs> Can you believe it? No blood. Be interested to see. I would think with that copper at that distance, I would think he'd punch, punch right through. It, you should definitely have an exit. What do you think? Let's go up there and put your hands on him. Well, you did a good job killing him in an area where we won't have to.
travel too far. He's so gorgeous, man. He is so gorgeous. Congratulations, brother. Oh, look at that other side. I don't know if that one counts. Look at, look at the top. I mean, look at that other side. <laughs> oh, man. Dude. You're a blessed man. Oh, dude. oh man. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Meat on the Ooh. table, buddy. Meat on the table. His buddy won't stop screaming at us. He's wondering where he went to. You know, I don't know if this is the the main one, but he's gorgeous. He is. Gorgeous. I, I can look at ask look at like that palmation on the top there. I know. And look at this thing. This is broken off. That's broken off. Yeah. This could have been a seven by seven. I don't know if that one counts because it's not an inch, maybe. Right. How do we, how do we get them off the tree? <laughs> I'll take the video while you do all the work. <laughs> Man, he's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, he's so beautiful. His coat's beautiful. We were just talking about how, like, what are we doing wrong? What's going on? We haven't even seen a bowl. It's unusual to not see any elk for four days. Um, we got into a little tiff about staying in a wall tent versus backpacking. I think this proves that I win. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you're into uh, home cooked food in a warm bed, I guess that's cool. <laughs> Jesus, this is incredible. Turn his head away this way just a little bit again, like he did. What an opportunity! This is the spot we were set up. Uh, Jacob was back at those trees back there. We heard the elk up the road a little ways and then came down here and got him bugling. And there's actually two bulls and uh. So Jacob sat up there and was breaking trees. I sat up on this side here looking down the road, but realized that my view of the road wasn't great because of these trees here. I moved over to this side of the tree and waited, and we, we heard him close up, and he came out down the road there, but stood straight on for a minute looking at me, or looking up at where we were calling, and then uh, went back over here, kind of more and then set up on it. He stood behind that pile because all his vitals were empty and then kept moving along. And I, I actually shot when he stepped into an opening here at, at his vitals there, and he just stood there, moved over a little further, and I shot a second time. Uh, and he whirled and went down into the into the trees there and died in about 30 yards. So. Good shooting, brother. Pretty exciting. Uh, right through the lungs. Yep, right through the lungs. That was that.